So in this video, I'm going to try to explain Strassen's algorithm. I'm not going to walk through the algorithm because that's monkey work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the analysis of the algorithm, the complexity and why that is. So let's start off first with the standard way of multiplying matrices. So we have two matrices. And when we multiply these, it will result in another matrix. So we know that if you want a certain cell, the number of a certain cell in, a, in the result matrix, would have to take the take the horizontal numbers corresponding to that corresponding to that cell of matrix A, and the vertical numbers are corresponding to the resulting cell of matrix B. We multiply them, we add them together to get the cell in matrix C. So for example, we have a two by two. And we take that and we times it together to get another two by two. So let's say we to get this cell C1, what we have to do is we have to take a cell from A1 or a cell from A, let's call that A1. And then we take A1 and we times it by a cell in B, B1. And then we add cell from A2 and we take A2 and times it by B2. A2 times it by B2. And that'll give us C1 in the matrix C. And that's pretty much the theory behind the matrix multiple the standard way of matrix multiplying. So the complexity of when we are multiply when we're multiplying matrices is we have a n by n matrix. That's our matrix. That's the number of elements that we have. Number of elements. And then we have n multiplications for that. For for to to get to, to n multiplic yeah we have n multiplications for uh for for a matrix of n by n so then the complexity of that would be order n cubed <coughs> now Strassen's algorithm Strassen's algorithm what he did is he pretty much took a big matrix and he turned that into uh, turn that into two by two matrices. So let's say he had like a big matrix, like 125 by 125. He turned that into a two by two. And then we know that when we're multiplying standard matrix, when multiplying the standard way, it's n cubed. So if I have uh, let's say a 5x5 five five matrix, a 5x5 five five matrix, and s multiplying that with the uh, standard algorithm for multiplying matrices is order n squared, or uh, order n cubed, which is order 5 cubed. That's the complexity when we're multiplying the standard width. Now, Strassen. He found a way that when we're multiplying by powers of 2, the complexity is actually n uh, log base 2 to the 7. And I'm going to explain how that works. So for Strassen, we can only, we can only use it on powers of 2. On powers of 2. So 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and so on. So following our example, we have a 5x5 five five matrix, but we can't multiply a 5x5 five five matrix using Strassen's. So what we have to do is we have to pad the 5x5 five by, five by zeros. So what do I mean by that? So let's say this is a 5x5 five five matrix. 
since we can since five by five is not a power of two, we have to pad it with a zero to make it a power of two. So all this would be zeros, and we would and we would make it a power of two, and we would make it uh, two to the power of three or eight by eight matrix. We would make it an eight by eight matrix because eight is the next power of two after five. So eight is right here, and five is in between two, two is in between four and eight. So then we're using an eight by eight matrix. So when we're using an eight by eight matrix, following stress what Strassen found, the complexity for an eight by eight is the following. So we have Strassen's eight by eight, right? So we plug in eight for n, and then, yeah, so eight log base two to seven. We know using logs we can reduce the eight to two to the power of three log to seven. We could bring out the three, so, we'll le so we're left with two to log base two of seven to the power of three. Well, 2 to the power of log base 2 just cancels out, so we will end up with 7 to the power of 3. And that's the complexity of the algorithm. So let's check. So using the standard algorithm, we know that the complexity is 5 by 3. But using Strassen's, the complexity is 7 to the power of 3. So in this case, Strassen's algorithm does not beat the standard way of multiplying, which is the standard algorithm. But let's try a different example. Let's try a one where Strassen's is better. So let's try a 125 by 125 matrix. So again, using the standard algorithm, 125 to the power of 3. Now using Strassen's, we have to pad it with zeros, and the next biggest power of 2 after 125 is 128. 128 by 128, which, when I recall, is 2 to the power of 7. Now, 2 to the power of 7. So, we take 2 to the power of 7, log base 2 of 7. And remember, we can bring out the 7. We first bring out the 7. So we get 2 log base 2, 7 to the power of 7. Now we can cancel out the logs, and we get 7 to the power of 7. Now 7 to the power of 7 is approximately 800,000, And... 125 to the power of 3 is 1953125. Now we can see here that the amount of work done using Strassen's for this 128 by 120 matrix is less than this 125 cubed, the standard way of multiplying a matrix for 120 for 125 by 125 matrix. So in this case, Strassen's is better than the standard way of multiplying matrices. And that's pretty much it for Strassen's algorithm. It's pretty much what you sh should always know for tests. It came up on a lot of my tests, the exact same thing that I showed you. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.